positivity, the positives of gerrymandering are it helps the people get a government that actually represents them. Incumbents are most likely to be re-elected. Some states benefit greatly from the reconstruction of boundaries and from the government benefiting, so does society. The negatives of gerrymandering can be, some say it's a system that enables the powerful to cheat democracy. It also disenfranchises voters. Districts become less competitive, and it only benefits the incumbents. congressional districts to benefit one party or another goes back to the earliest days of the Republic. Detailed census and election data have made it even easier to construct elaborate electorates with all, an all but guaranteed political learning. You can usually spot a gerrymandered district by its wacky boundaries. It doesn't take into account how a district got its odd contours. Take North, North Carolina's 12th 12, which is ha which has the country's third highest gerrymandering score. One way to fix gerrymandering is to strip the state legislators of their power and withdraw the districts and turn the duty over to the independent co commissions. Also, a handful of states have already have commissions, not lawmakers, and they draw new districts to mitigate self-serving shenanigans. The definition of gerrymandering is the redrawing and redistricting of states to benefit a single political incumbent. Uh, basically, politicians pay people to reconstruct uh, the districts so it will benefit them in the elections. It also molds elections, election districts to favor that party. Sometimes when people think of gerrymandering, they think that when you redistrict, you get more votes. But the point of it is that you do it so that you have less safe seats for the opponent to get votes. The Supreme Court has been fairly reluctant to change districts that have been drawn by states. It is a prerogative of the states to decide how these district lines will be drawn. They have typically been passed by the state legislature, which means that they are at least approved by people who are elected representatives, but they've intervened from time to time. The consequences of how these districts are drawn will determine, sometimes in a dramatic fashion, which party will control the largest number of districts. You, and you have a powerful incentive for drawing a cleverly designed district. If my side draws them, they are not gerrymandered. They are civic-minded effort to draw districts that will lead to the greatest good for the greatest number. The other side draws them, they are clearly gerrymandered in a selfish, corrupt pursuit of raw power.